my channel today we're gonna be doing some painting okay before we get started if you are new here please go subscribe that red button down there that right subscribe and make it gray and also like this video and also another tip is please go and watch my shopping spree vlog with for father's day before we get started okay now that i know you watch that vlog and you're ready you know you now know where i got all of these items now let's get with the video so what we're going to be doing today is painting a birdhouse i've been looking forward for this all week long so i'm very happy that we can do it i've got some acrylic paints here which you saw in my father's day vlog some white paint which is acrylic as well which i thought we will need some paint brushes that I got out of the packet, which are in order, smallest to biggest. And a little paint holder that we squeeze the paint into. And also a cup of water. And a paper towel to dip our paint brushes, not to make our paint watercolour paint, because I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm just going to put my paper towel there. I've also drawn this um, a couple of days ago for an example of what i'm going to be doing now let's get on with the video so first we're going to paint this with white acrylic paint for a base coat now if you're doing this and you're step by step following along you can leave it wooden if you would like it if that's your design or you can do it just white like i am if you want to take my idea and do it yourself i'm totally fine with this i don't mind and please if you do tap me on my instagram in the comment section in the description box down below now let's get painting so i'm gonna first um what am i gonna do i'm going to squeeze some white paint into my little palette now i got this idea from maria elizabeth i've been watching her vlogs every single day that she uploads because i think she's a very good artist and she has done a donut drip birdhouse which i love but i don't want to do that i want to do something different now that i've finally opened this i can i'm going to squeeze it into my palette and then start painting and i've also wetted my paintbrush which is the biggest i think it's number hmm, number 12 if you were wondering I've wetted it for extra. Now I'm just gonna dab it on my paper towel to not make the water, the paint watery because I don't want that. Just gonna dab, dab, dab. Okay, now that I think it's wet and dry, we're gonna squeeze some. It's okay, my hands get messy after I will clean them. So if I need more, I will squeeze more after. Now. <laughs> clean them once I've finished painting it white also I forgot to tell you that you can cover your work surface if your parents say I don't want it messy in the house so yeah and you can also wear an apron but I use my apron for cooking so I don't want to use it for painting also, I'm going to do another layer, maybe if the white doesn't cover the wood too much. So, I will maybe have a second layer of white. Now, let's get on with the actual part, which is the hole and where the bird will go inside of. I'm going to lay it down like this to make it easier for me. Touch it because it's wet. And now 
now I'm going to do the seam for the side and the bottom. If you want, you can do the bottom and the back. I will do it as well. And I'm also going to add some more white paint because I ran out. So I'll be right back once I finish the base layer. Now let's go on with the overshot. Now that I've finished the sky, we're going to do some detail after and fix it up. We're going to now do some grass right over here, right underneath the window frames. So let's get to it. Now that I've finished the grass, I'm going to use some orange paint to cover the windows. Now let's go on with the overview. Butterfly yellow and then the winged purple. Let's get to it. Now let's color my flower. I'm going to make my flowers petal pink so let me just move the birdhouse so you guys can see what i mean okay wait let me just remove all these paints from the side okay so i've got some red paint and some white paint right over here which i'm gonna mix up right now so i'm just gonna rinse my paintbrush and now let's mix it up Red and white makes pink, so I might add a little bit more white to this because it's a little bit dark of a red. So let me just. I'm going to keep on adding white until I get the color I want. So this is okay. I think this is a perfect color for my flower. Now I'm just going to paint it. 
here we go let me just straighten it out and then we're just going to paint we're going to be very slow and very careful Okay, now we're just going to rinse my paintbrush once again. Grab a tissue. Let me just get that. And we're going to paint it yellow now, the middle. So let me grab a little, little bit. And then just color it in. Well, paint it in. Meanwhile, my details, flowers, ladybugs, and butterfly dry. I'm going to paint this green because it's the outline of the grass. I'm going to make a grey for the background, so I'm going to add a little bit of black to this white. So let me just wipe it. And okay, now I'm just going to get some on my paintbrush and then mix, mix, mix. It's already turning out grey, which is perfect. See, grey, beautiful grey. So now I'm going to use this type of grey for my background. Okay, let's do this. So right over here, I'm just going to paint it over because I don't want the blue over there. There we go. I've also changed my water. I've got a thinner brush now because I needed to get into those edges. Now, I let my painting dry. I let my birdhouse dry in the front. This is it. Wow, look how beautiful it is. It's very nice and I'm actually very proud of myself for making such a masterpiece. It's been so long since I've actually painted something and I'm very proud of it. So now I'm just gonna do the head of this ladybug and then we're gonna do the back. So I'm just going to do the head and I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of black. There we go, I'm just gonna wipe it on my tissue. Now I'm just going to do the eyeballs of the butterfly and now I'm just going to wipe and then I'm going to use, hmm, what colour? I'm going to get my pencil, here we go, and I'm just going to draw the, uh, the antenna. There we go. Now let's move on to the back. There we go, I'm just going to touch this one up. And then this one as well, a little bit. There we go. I'm going to make some light green paint now. So I'm just going to get some white over here. And I'm just going to squeeze this out onto my palette over here. And I'm just going to get a little bit of green with my paintbrush like I did with the black. Because I want a light green in the middle. So let me just get a little bit. Mix, 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 mix. Look at that beautiful light green. So beautiful. Now let's do it. I'm just going to wipe my brush a little bit. So now I'm just going to do the middle. Look at that beautiful light green. I'm being very careful because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, and the last little bit. Yes, I did it. I'm so proud of myself. Now let's do the background yellow. I'm going to mix some 
some white with some blue to make the sky of our background. So I've got some blue now. Let's mix it together. There we go. All nice and mixed up. Now let's paint it. We're going to start. Now I'm going to do the roof. Meanwhile, this dries. And after this dries, we're going to do some flowers and some butterflies and some, maybe some ladybugs. Let's do the roof. So first, I'm just going to use the color brown. And then I'm just going to squirt it on and then just use my paintbrush to evenly put it on. all around and then paint them this is very hard but I'm trying my best and then over here Again, I'm going to put some grass and then I'm going to have the yellow and the sky a little bit just like the same on the other side. So I'll be back once I finish that. change it into some red. Let's get to it. This is the other side, and this is the front, and this is the roof. Okay, now I'm just going to paint these leaves on the flowers. Like 
I did when we were not filming to make it more interesting and texture. So let's do that. It's very easy if you want to add detail, but if you don't want to, it's fine. I just thought it would be nice. This is a finished product. So let me go step by step how I made it. So what I did was paint this light blue and then I painted some grass, just doing like the texture method and then I did it gray. And then if you want, you can add a sun and I added a butterfly, a ladybug, a baby ladybug and a flower. And I also painted these two windows orange. You can paint it whatever you want, but if you were following step by step and you want to make this finished product, which I think is very lovely, um, that's how you do it. So then we can go to the side. I did a blue, just this same blue, just here. I followed it all around and then I also added some yellow flowers, butterflies, and some grass, like that. The back, I've added some birds and some clouds with just my pencil. And I also did some butterflies and flowers. This side is the same. And now let's go to the roof. The roof has this beautiful design. What was it again? I forgot, please comment on my Instagram what this design is, but it just came to mind and you can add it if you want. Or you, because I wanted it to be very designer, so I just wanted the roof not to be plain because everything else isn't plain. Very nice, isn't it? Please like this video if you think the roof and my birdhouse is nice. Now let's move on to the grass. So as you can see, the grass is green and you can do the bottom if you want. I just didn't choose to. So I just did like one line like that. And then, yeah, you can just watch the video. So if you do this birdhouse, just like mine, or do a different design, please tag me on my Instagram. It will be in the description box down below with also my other videos. So please like this video, Cookie Fans, if you enjoyed this video. And also, please, com please comment on my Instagram if you think I should do more art crafts. Don't forget to subscribe. Just make that subscribe button which says subscribe grey. See you next time for more amazing videos, cookie fans. 